Hi, best friends. My name is Brian Deach. I'm a solutions architect with Zscaler. And today we're going to talk about the Zero Trust Exchange and how it helps deliver SASE, SSE, and Zero Trust. So let's jump right into it. We think about the internet, we got applications like Amazon, maybe a ride share, but we also have enterprise applications that are hosted by SaaS based companies. It could be Office 365, Salesforce. Now you might just have a couple or a couple hundred, but you'll have peace of mind knowing that we can secure access to all those things without introducing any risk. Then of course we have the public cloud. That's the big ones, right? It's the Azure's G, uh, GCP, AWS out there. But where else do our applications live? Well, we have applications that still reside at the data center. And the cool part about the Zero Trust Exchange, it doesn't really matter where the applications live, we'll always steer users to those applications as quickly as possible. So speaking of users, where do they live? Well, sometimes they can live at offices, Sometimes it can be in factories, and maybe sometimes those factories might have OT devices. Then, of course, we have our work from anywhere population. These people are at home, Starbucks, or even abroad. So how do we put all, this things, all these different things together in a nice, secure fashion? Well, this is where we enter in the Zero Trust Exchange. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is that? Well, I'll tell you. It's the world's largest security cloud. We move like 250 uh, billion transactions per day. 2.7 terabits per second at peak, got like 40 million users on our cloud at any given point in time. We have 150 points of presence. So you start to think about that, that's pretty radical. So no matter how large your organization is, you have peace of mind knowing that you can drop the Zero Trust Exchange platform from Zscaler. So how does this actually work? Well, quite simply, I need to verify traffic that's coming in. So whether it's from users that are working from anywhere, or maybe users that are coming up over here, from a remote location, from a branch office, or heck, even workloads that are OT based. I wanna make sure that they come here, they hit the cloud, and we wanna verify the, the identity of that user or that workload. Now, once we do this, now we have to evaluate the risk, right? Who are you, where are locations, what are you trying to do? And then last but not least, have the ability to enforce a policy. Now, historically, you may have thought, oh, I know what we're gonna do, we're gonna allow or block. But it's changed with the Zero Trust Exchange platform. You actually have five full different things that you can do. You can allow, you can block, you can warn the user, you can isolate, and you can deceive. So this kind of gives you peace of mind that every single transaction is coming through here, we know exactly who they are or what it is and where they're trying to go. Which means when you're going out to the internet, right, we wanna make sure that we decrypt, all that SSL and TLS traffic. Same thing with your SaaS-based applications. And then the last thing we wanna do for your internal applications here and over here, we don't wanna introduce an attack surface, right? We don't wanna open up any doors. So by default, I say your inbound ACL is an any, any deny. And instead we do like this inside out thing where I say, hey, this workload needs to come over here and talk to the Zscare cloud like this. Now you might be thinking, all right, this is pretty cool. This is kind of, uh, you know, all inline, which is great, but we're like, what about out-of-band protection? I can do that as well. So I can come over here, and for your applications in SaaS or your applications over here in the public cloud, I can do API-based things as well. So I can do you know, our sandboxing, I can data protection, the whole nine yards. Now I know what you're thinking, oh my goodness, all roads kind of point to Zscutter. This has got to be troublesome to try to troubleshoot. The answer is not. So user experience is like number one for us. So when we're doing these things, we want to make sure that we can get complete visibility to all things that are going on. So what does that mean to you? It means I get visibility here on your endpoint. Every path that packet takes to get to this destination application, whether it is through the Zscutter cloud, the last mile right here, last mile right here. Heck, even on those internal applications, I'm just still monitoring the path that's coming over here and over here, over here as well. And the last thing I wanna to talk to you guys about on Zero Trust, whether it's a user or whether it's a workload, we gotta stop just giving too much access. And so the way that we do this is we wanna do user to application segmentation or application to application segmentation. What does that really mean? Keep those users off the network. Stop those OT devices from talking to anything. Really start to lock it down.
Now you might be thinking to yourself, this is pretty radical. It's got to be difficult. Probably going to take us years to roll out. No, not at all. You get this done very, very quickly. Three months, maybe. It really is just up to your appetite. But it kind of boils down to this. I want to always under-promise and over-deliver on my platform. And that's what I'm doing here today. My ask of you, before you pick up that phone and call me, review the SSE or SASE or Zero Trust frameworks provided by third parties and look at that. And what you're going to see is that there's some feature parity between what they're saying and versus what the Zero Trust Exchange Cloud can do for you. So with that said, that's my time. I hope you got something out of this. Reach out to me on LinkedIn or leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you. Have a good one. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.